I heard sleep deprivation can cause hallucinations. Really? Can it? You think so? Don't get snippy with me. I'm just saying, I don't have to be here. It's your parade, Bren. You can lead it wherever you like. But aren't you a little tired of me making you feel sorry for yourself? How's that lawsuit going in New York? How do you know about that? Shut up. I've decided to have it settled for you. The hell? Here we go. That's something that might cause a problem. I have to tell Lisa. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, of course I do. One of your people is working for us. What? He's been on the payroll for a while now. He gave us some good data. He's been helping out with some operations. His name's Derek Morrison. Olivia, you don't understand. I had to. Just stop. I've had enough betrayal for one day. I assumed if I focus and do my work, you people will do yours. I'm tired of assuming. I'll take care of life fire. Where do you think you're going? Home. You can't leave. I've been coding for 48 hours and now you're here. My therapist would say leaving's just the thing. That's right, run away. That's what you do best, isn't it? Make a mess and leave it for others to clean up? Aaron's still here. That's interesting. Why is that interesting? Is he writing code, Bryn? Is he on the phone with all the vendors for the launch party? You know, the ones that are open past midnight? What's your point? My point is, you know perfectly well why he's still here. How does it feel to be a home wrecker? Poor, innocent Lisa, home all alone with her baby. I bet little David would have loved to have two parents to grow up with. I'm leaving now. But that's just the thing, Bryn. You can't leave. No, ma'am. Not after what you've done. Are you happy? Are you proud of yourself? No, Lisa, I'm, I'm not happy. I'm, I'm so sorry. It, it, the whole thing was a mistake. We were drunk. Do you think I'm an idiot? Do you think because I don't wear black makeup and spend my time staring at a computer screen like some angry 17-year-old that I'm somehow inferior to you? I'm, I never said that. I'm not implying that. Don't pretend like this was some one-time thing. I've seen the way you look at him. I like Aaron. I do, but it's not like that. It, we're... You're what? Your friends? Co-workers? Yeah, both of those things. I mean, we started to get close, I guess. Tell me. What do you know about Aaron? Do you know what his favorite book was as a child? Do you know why? What about the side of the bed he sleeps on? Or the lullaby that he always sings to David? His favorite color? Anything? You know why you don't know those things, Bren? Because love isn't stolen. It's developed. Lisa, what are you doing here? I was just leaving. Lisa, hold on, wait. Lisa, hold on. Please don't come home tonight. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? It didn't mean anything. Why would I tell you? You could have never found out. Why would I tell you? So here's your gold star for being honest. Great job. You know, I've tried being supportive. I've tried to rationalize to myself that you're doing this whole thing for your family. That you're spending late nights away from home because you actually care about us. Is that what this is about? But you know what? That particular self-delusion was wearing a little thin. 
And then you take a business trip to our hometown and you don't even think of taking me. And then, and then you kiss her. You're not jealous of, of Bryn. You're actually jealous of my job. And after all that, you take a moment to make me look like a complete lunatic in front of your entire office. Lisa, I didn't, I didn't mean that. Don't come home tonight. Lisa, come on. Aaron and Lisa weren't my fault. Weren't they? I wasn't the one who took the vow. I mean, Aaron knew what he was doing. Sure. That's a convenient deflection of responsibility. Were you the victim here, would you say? Yeah, I did what I did. And I'm not proud of it. But I'm not gonna torture myself over a moment of weakness. Should I have known better? Maybe. But then again, maybe it's Aaron's job to make sure he doesn't cheat on his wife. Not mine. And here we are again. Midnight snack? Why won't you leave? Why won't all you people go home? Have you seen Derek? Have you? Have you seen him? Derek? Aaron fired him. Aaron didn't fire him. You did. Don't come home tonight. Lisa, come on. Lisa! Aaron. Not a good time. This is really important. Yeah, I think my wife just threw me out of my house. You sure it can't wait? It really can't. It's about Derek. Jesus, now what? So I talked to Sam Barry last night. You know, the guy that I've been dating that also happens to work right, for- Right, Wi-Fi CEO. Yes. Thank you for telling me that, by the way. All of you. I truly appreciate it. Anyway, it turns out that what? You're right. This isn't a good time. You dragged me in here. What? Derek's been working for LiFi. What? He's been doing it for a while now. Gathering information, passing along little tidbits. Wait. The meeting with Glenn. I've been wondering how they got in here. I know the front door was locked. It's always locked now. Wait, what are we, what are we talking about here? You're saying Derek betrayed the... Derek is selfish, yeah, but he's not gonna... Betray the thing he put together. He's not gonna betray me. Olivia came to me with the same thought. Um, we were wondering what he couldn't resist. What would be the one thing that would make him betray his friends? I did a little research. I found that. What is it? His lawsuit in New York was dismissed about a month ago. He was just talking about it a second ago. Yeah. I'll go talk to him. No. I, I got this. Aaron, you don't have to do this. You've got enough. He's my glasses. brother, it's my responsibility. I'll do it. You'll have to fire him. Yeah. Don't you think I know that? Will you be able to? Do I have a choice? Derek had it coming. And you sure helped make that happen, didn't you? What does Aaron think about that? The woman who ruined his marriage also ruined his relationship with his brother. I did Aaron a favor. His brother's a traitor. He now he knows. I'm sure he's very grateful. I am not accepting responsibility for Derek's mistakes. I've made plenty of my own to worry about. And yet. And yet. And how do you think Aaron will react when he finds out about this? You know what's right for your small business. I pick the right tools to click with my clients. When it's game time, I have the right answer, no matter the playing field. Your small business is unique. So is our coverage. Hiscox. Get the right insurance right now. We need to talk. Okay. Okay. Like right now, or? How's that lawsuit? It's like a crushing weight. How's Lisa? I heard you guys fighting earlier. Lisa's fine. 
So no luck getting it dismissed, huh? God, I wish. I think I might need to change lawyers. Yeah. Yeah, do you? Wait. What? You know, for the amount of practice you put into it, you make a pretty terrible liar. I'm not lying. I had no idea. Why would this be dismissed? Oh, I don't know. I have a few theories. Maybe it has something to do with you spying on us. What? Just stop it, Derek. We talked to Sam Barry. He told us everything, so you could just stop it. I didn't do anything awful. You didn't do anything awful? Yeah, I guess you wouldn't think it was awful to backstab your friends, to backstab your brother. No, that's just the kind of person you are. I gave them harmless information, progress on funding, where people were, things like that. I didn't give them any technical details that they could use against what us. What about the meeting with Glenn? That cute little Roomba during our extremely important meeting with our investor? Was that harmless? Yeah, I thought that was you. They said they would make the lawsuit go away. Oh, well, it does make me feel better that you sold us out for money. What was I supposed to do? None of you came rushing to help me, did you? I mean, Jack said he would help me, but then he forgot all about it as soon as he got out here. And he could afford that absurd car. You're actually turning this around. It's our fault that you did this. You're supposed to be my brother. You knew that I couldn't afford a lawsuit on my own. But what did you do? You just lectured me as usual. Just once, Aaron, just once, I would love to hear you say, I'm so sorry to hear you're having problems. What can I do to help? But you are the least helpful person I have ever met. God, how selfish are you? I've said what I need to say. Do you even listen to yourself talk? Me, me, me. You know, statistically speaking, older brothers are supposed to be the responsible ones. How do I get stuck with you? You won't be stuck with me for much longer. No, I won't. Because you're fired. I'm quitting. You're fired. I'm quitting! Okay, call it what you want. I want you gone within the hour. Oh, Derek, if you could not steal anything on your way out, that would be great. Aaron did well. He did what he had to do. He did. And how do you think he felt doing it? His feelings are none of my business. Now you're getting it. And how about you? I guess I also did what I had to do. That's right. Now go on. Don't feel rude on my account. What do you want? What? If this is another one of your... F fine, I'll be right there. Aren't you forgetting something? You're not leaving, Bryn. Not until it's done. Fine. Happy? She's insane. I can't believe she did this. She may have not done anything. Might be one of her moments. Who wants to? Sure, it's nothing. Even Bryn wouldn't do this. Oh, God. Oh, Bryn. What did you do? Misunderstanding. Ah, I get it. I always hate when my death threats are taken out of context. Okay, let's all go, you know, get arrested. Everything's gone to hell. But there's one last thing I can do to fix it. I'm gonna kill Andy Corvell.